Hey, how's it going? Miles here at Tactical Hive, and today in this video, we're gonna be talking about a little bit about home defense and different options with a long gun. And I'm joined with Tosh, one of our subject matter experts who you've seen in other videos, who's gonna run us through everything. All right, the two weapon systems we're gonna talk about today for home defense, there are, there are a bunch of weapons you can use for home defense, but we're going with the AR. We're going with the 16 inch AR, you know, your standard uh, legal weapon system that probably most Americans have. Okay, and then we're also gonna talk about the pistol AR and how that works out for you. And we're gonna talk about the pluses and minuses of both of these weapon systems. So Tosh, we're speaking about uh, the AR platform here, but why are we picking out two distinct barrel lengths? Okay, first off, the AR is pretty common in the United States. A lot of homes have them. Mm -hmm. So, and the standard length is 16 inch. So we have to talk about that, okay? okay? And then what's become real popular is the uh, pistol variant, okay, with a shorter barrel. And the reason we're talking about it, one, we have to look at the long or the normal length, mm -hmm. or okay, the legal length, so to speak, because that's what people have. And so, you know, they may not have a pistol AR, but they have this and they still gotta be able to, if they wanna use this, we can show them some things on how to protect their home with it. Okay. okay. There are advantages and disadvantages to both weapon systems. When you're talking CQB, the shorter weapon system, I think gives you a, a greater advantage just because of the maneuverability of it and just the handling of it in, in tight, tight quarters. Okay, it's the whole purpose. I know that this style of weapon is what replaced the MP5 for us in the late 90s. And because we were running 14 inch uh, AR or M4s back then, it just wasn't ideal for CQB. Okay. So the maneuverability is the number one reason why you would probably want the shorter platform. And we're gonna go over and you're gonna do some techniques and you're gonna see how cumbersome this, this full length weapon system is. Okay. Okay. Got it. All right, so what we're gonna do now, you're gonna get jocked up. We're gonna go ahead and take these weapon systems. We're gonna go in the kill house and we're gonna do techniques with these different weapon systems so you can see for yourself which, which actually works better for you. Mm -hmm. And we're also gonna teach you techniques with the long gun specifically. Hey man, if that's all you got, this is what you do. Perfect, all okay. right, looking forward to it. All right, so let's all get right. jocked up. Cool. Okay, Miles. You're gonna do a one-man room entry. You're gonna clear this room. We're gonna do it with a 16-inch barrel okay. uh, AR and uh, make it happen. All right. Deal with the situation. All right, Mize, you saw it was kind of cumbersome, right? Yeah. So a little, little trick, go ahead and sink that all the way in. Okay, and go ahead and try doing that uh, clearance of the doorway with it like that, okay? okay? All right, Miles, you did it with uh, a normal 16 inch, 16 inch barrel. We're gonna go ahead and do it with the, uh, I think that's a 10 and a half inch barrel. Yeah. Try it with that. Okay. Okay. All right, so now you got the 10 and a half inch barrel. Okay. Go ahead and execute. All All right, how'd that feel? I uh, felt much better. I was able to get a uh, better view of the angles without contorting my body. Didn't have to worry about my barrel or my muzzle passing the threshold. Right. So, yeah. Pre, much better. so AR pistol, 10 and a half inch barrel, probably a really good option for your house. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, excellent. Okay, Miles, we're gonna change it up on you a little bit. Make sure you do that good breakdown before you enter. Okay. okay? It's real important that you do it. You'll see why when you enter. Okay.
Okay, Miles, so you know the situation. Mm -hmm. So now we want you to do it with uh, a normal length 16 inch barrel, okay. actual AR. The big thing is on your, when you're retracting your weapon system, you're gonna have to get it farther back okay. because of the length of this barrel. One, because you need to clear that doorway, and two, you need to be able to present that muzzle quickly, okay? Okay. All right, All right. on you. Okay, Miles, we're gonna try changing our elevation now on how we approach a room. It's a technique, it's not something you have to do every time, but it's another way to clear a room. Okay, okay it, you're gonna do it first with a short barrel and go ahead and change your height and clear that room. All right, got it. All right, Miles, how'd that feel to you? It's the first time I changed level, so a little awkward in the footwork there. Right. Uh, but because I'm using a 10, 10 and a half inch, easy to get the gun here. I do feel that I need to break down the gun a little bit. I didn't do that, Absolutely. but I, I did try to see if, uh, because it's shorter, if I could just literally lean and uh, get through. But clearly this light is getting in the way, so it's kind of like a, a gear issue too. Right, but, remember you're at, an, you're at a downward angle. Mm -hmm. So even if you break it down a little bit, you still can possibly, if you need to, shoot from there. Got it, yeah. Okay? Okay. Let's try it again. Okay. You saw what you did, right? You hit them. So you got to really yeah. retract that weapon system when you just like if you were going in, standing up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, All right. So now you're going to do it again, but you're going to use the long barrel now. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So now you got the 16 inch. You saw the problems you had with the shorter barrel. Yeah. Now you got to exaggerate some of your movement. Okay. All right, Miles, you got to try that technique. Mm -hmm. Obviously with a longer barrel, it's much more difficult to do. Yeah, absolutely, so, felt, felt really weird. But it's a technique, now you understand, you can see the technique, take it for what it is. Mm -hmm. Got it. All right, Miles, you just did all the runs through the house. You got to see and feel what these weapon systems were like in the house. What was your favorite out of out of the two? Clearly the, the shorter barrel, the 10.3, is much easier to maneuver. Right. And it was cool to also learn and focus on some of the some of the little details you got to keep in mind when handling uh, a longer rifle. What I did notice also through the exercises, and this is some of our viewers, you, you may have heard this stuff too. This, I have never really played around with this position, this light. I, I use the light on the left side here because I can uh, actuate the light or press it with my thumb. I don't, I didn't have a push pad when I installed this, I haven't changed it. And what I noticed when we were doing one of the exercises, even on the short barrel, it got caught. And well, because of the placement. So it wasn't the right. barrel that uh, was an issue, but just these exercises did tell me that the barrel length does really play a, a major role in ease of maneuvering. But then also it reminded me that you gotta, you gotta deal with how you set up your weapon as well. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta feel what the weapon, I'm getting into the zen of gun handling, right? You gotta feel the, the space that your gun occupies, mm -hmm. you know, when you're doing CQB. That's part of the art of doing that kind of uh, work, mm -hmm. if you will. Yeah. What do you think the advantages are of using a longer gun? You know, honestly, I would just be thinking because based on the exercises we did, there was nothing because we're taking such close shots. Right. You know, we're such in so close proximity that I don't really need a long barrel. I don't really, you know, need that. It's just going to be quick. So I can't see the, any advantage of using the longer barrel gun within the situation you put me. 
um, it seemed like there was all advantages with the shorter barrel. Right, when we're talking about home defense, right, we're talking about uh, muzzle velocity too that's coming out of the weapon system. So if you're using the 55 grain, you've got a bullet coming out anywhere from 31 to 3200 feet per second out of this longer barrel. Okay, so you're gonna have a lot of over penetration with it. Yeah. Okay, so there really isn't an advantage over this system to use it. Okay, if you've got something like this or gonna transfer over to a system like this, this is a better option. I even think the caliber, changing the caliber might be a, a, a good idea, like 300 blackout, for instance. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know Coach, uh, one of our other SMEs has talked about that's his favorite round, so he'll use a rifle and 300. For, for close quarter yeah. stuff, hey man. You know, you're not trying to reach anybody. You just right here, really. And and that, and then pistol calibers are actually pretty good for that too. Mm -hmm. So if you like the AR platform and you want to go with a nine or a 10 mil for home defense, that's a good option. Mm -hmm. Awesome. There you guys have it. It's a quick video on comparing two different barrel lengths. For those of you who own ARs, if you are using your AR specifically for home defense, there's a lot more advantages using a short barreled uh, rifle. As Tosh mentioned, there really isn't an advantage of having the longer barreled rifle within your home if you're using it again for home defense. So hope you guys liked the video. Thanks Tosh for all the knowledge and we'll see you guys in the next video.